Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Monday, back here in Phoenix, and I've had a busy morning so far. First and foremost, the pool is a disaster. I'm convinced not only are the chemicals off, but I don't think the pump's working properly. I think uh, the motor replaced and something didn't quite click right in the right place because the water just doesn't move like it's supposed to. Like the top of the water is dirty, and I remember specifically after like a day or two of running without skimming, all that crap would be in the skimmer on the side. So I'm thinking it's not like, something, something's alright. Anyways, uh, we're gonna drain the pool. I got the sump pump going, the hose going, draining it to the front of the house where the, you know, the uh, drainage thing is. And uh, this is probably gonna take about three or four, maybe five days to drain. So we're gonna start the process now. Temperatures are below the 90s, almost below the 80s. So I think it's a safe bet to uh, start draining now. There goes some kid on his dirt bike. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning. He's like, I'm gonna go for a dirt bike ride. Just sitting down now to start editing the vlog. And a couple other things. Time to mow the grass. Grass is looking fantastic, but it's getting long, and I feel like it's been a while now, so the roots are good in there. So I think it's time to mow it because it's starting to get a little. Like when the, when the grass starts to go so tall that it starts to fall, that's when you know it's time to mow. So Bryce will be mowing the grass today. As for the dirt bikes, here is the aftermath after my dad's second moto. Nice and caked on there. We uh, we packed up and hightailed it out as soon as, as soon as he was good. So sometime today I'll be pulling that out and giving it a proper bath, a proper bath. But uh, yeah, man, the, the the KX450 did really good for my dad. I was really really happy. It was awesome to see him race my bike on the track. Obviously today's vlog isn't up yet, so I haven't. There's no comments, but I'm sure that somebody will ask how he did. Um, there were 33 riders in his first race. And he got, I want to say maybe 24. I forget. It was like high, like high to low, high to mid 20s out of 33 riders. And then day two, there were 36 riders, and he got 19th. So um, even with the mud, I think I think the mud actually may have helped him because he did fabulous. He didn't crash. He didn't stall. He didn't fall over like where those other guys like had struggles in the mud. And so I think that kind of helped him out a little bit on day two. But he, he got 19th overall. On, uh, on the two motos. So that's how it works. It's two motos and they take the average of the two finishes. So whatever you finish between the two, they average them and that's what your place is. So that's how motocross works. Super proud of him guys. 58 years old and he's and he's still, I mean, he rides as much as I do. So what you, you guys see, I mean, that's the bike he rides for the most part. His, his Honda has a cracked rim and it's in storage. So he rides as much as I do. And you know, I don't ride very much. And he was, he was able to do what he did uh, with the amount of riding that he does. So uh, I'm super proud of my dad and he's, it's, it's awesome, it's awesome. So Bryce is already off for the day. Sierra's down here munching on some cereal and she is super excited because today starts Open Gym with SVA. <clears throat> We've had open gym on Fridays, but like this is like open evaluation, like kind of like part of tryouts. Right, right. Yeah, because tryouts are this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Volleyball back, volleyball is back. We're all excited. And you're eating chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. Somehow it does not tell me like that is a healthy breakfast. <laughs> they're Cheerios though. Yeah, I guess they're better for you. They're better than Reese's Buffs. That's true. That is true. All right, guys, it's lunchtime, and I'm meeting with my good friend Cody, uh, which we have not seen each other for over a year. I honestly, I'm trying to think the last time I saw him. The last time I can remember seeing him was lunch at Rudy's Barbecue. I don't remember off the time. Anyways, it's been too long. That's the important part. Uh, Cody is a entrepreneur. He and his wife uh, run uh, multiple businesses uh, in the web development, uh, web commerce, uh, e-commerce space. And uh, we're gonna catch up with him and we're gonna find out exactly what he's up to and what he's doing. And uh, you know, do the same. Cody was one of the first I talked to uh, when I quit my job at Cox and went full time with YouTube about like how he does what he does, uh, how he does it with working with his wife. Um, and you know, any pro tips on being, you know, self-employed and, and uh, an entrepreneur. So um, it'll be interesting to, you know, revisit that conversation here almost three years later. And of course, Cody's a fan of sushi like me, so we are meeting up at this sushi bar that he recommended and I've never been to. So sushi! Good times, catching up with Cody, talking shop, told me about his business, I told him about mine, what things are doing, how things are going. I ended up uh, following him over to the car dealership, he had to drop his car off to get an oil change, took him back home, got a chance to see his new house. It's been in the house for almost four years and I've never seen it. That, that, that right there tells me how much, how the lack of time, how much we've talked with each other. Um, it's kind of sad. 
he's a good guy. He's a good friend. And he only lives like 10 minutes away. Like we live closer to each other now than we ever have. So I think it's time to start um, spending more time with Cody and Raquel. Pool update. We're down about mm, six inches or so. It's been running since 7.30 and it's currently two o'clock. So we're making progress. I just brushed it a little bit, trying to stir up the, the, the algae. Hopefully that gets sucked out. The more algae that gets sucked out, the better. Be easier to clean when it's all down and empty. But uh, I predict the, by tomorrow morning, we'll be past the first step, close to the second step. And then, uh, you know, by tomorrow evening, we'll be down probably the third step or so. And then within two days, we should be down to the bottom level of the shallow parts. And at that point, we can start hosing and cleaning uh, the shallow parts while the deep part continues to get sucked down. Tiff's chilling, watching Orange is the New Black. What season are you on? Three? Three. Spraying off the dirt bikes. So dirty, so dirty. You know that, the more mud you have, the more fun you had. Well, my dad's cleaning the dirt bikes, so I gotta mow the grass, cause this is long. The winter grass is actually looking really good, but it's getting long, so I gotta mow it. Winter grass is finally getting a haircut. We are on our way to open evaluation for club volleyball. I'm super excited. I haven't gone to a Friday night fundamentals in a while, and last time I played volleyball was school volleyball, I think. All right, there it is, all spick and spanned. Probably cleaner than it's been in a while. <laughs> Let's go with the numbers though. I'm three, three, three. I mean, they're not perfect. I didn't, I didn't do a good job of like they're kind of cockeyed there, and this one over here, like the last two are kind of bunched up a little better, lit together, and I don't know. This one, this is probably the best. That's those are probably the best made, except that one's hanging off a little bit. So I don't know. It is what it is. I'm three, three, three for the. Races I don't do, <laughs> but there you go. Good to go for the next ride. But our next task is to prepare the trailer because we are doing NASCAR this weekend. We'll be at Phoenix International Raceway. Is that what it's still called? I think that's what it's still called. I think the name has changed. I actually don't know what it's called now. Anyways, we're gonna be out there for NASCAR. Uh, we'll be out there for the weekend uh, like we always do for the races with the travel trailer. So first and foremost, we have it plugged in and we are charging the batteries. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, when I get back tonight from Bryce's practice, fill up the water tank uh, because we're dry camping. Uh, we'll have our generators for electricity, but we'll have no water and of course no place for our poop and pee until we get home. The good news is I actually have a trap, uh, a drain in the front of my house for just the occasion. So when we get home um, from our trip, we'll be able to actually drain our pee and poop right here at the house. It's very convenient, very nice. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get everything prepared and ready to go for this weekend. So we're taking the trailer out. Pretty excited about it, pretty excited about it. Quick dinner before uh, basketball. How, look at this, how convenient. They, they made a Sonic right across you from your uh, practice, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The girls have returned. How was volleyball? Good. Good? Super excited. Good, yeah. yeah. Felt good to get back on the court. Mm -hmm. Some old faces. Yeah. So what's next? Tomorrow there's an open gym and Wednesday there's another open evaluation like today. Okay. Then what? 
Tryouts on Saturday. Tryouts on Saturday. Update on the pool. As you can kind of see there, the white line. That's we're getting down to the uh, what's it, pebble sheen that we have. The first step is uh, no longer covered in water, so it'll continue to run all night long. We'll probably get to the second step by morning, and then by like I said, by tomorrow, down to the bottom step, and it'll just keep going. All right, we're back from Bryce's uh, basketball practice, and. Uh, Really, the trailer is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Uh, the fridge is cooled down, batteries are charged. The one thing I have left to do is fill the water tank, and I just realized that I need a new hose. Um, my hose pretty much broke, and I threw it away, and I was supposed to buy a replacement, and I didn't. I have one, but it's not long enough to reach the water spigot. Um, well, it might be, I don't know. I, I say that, but I don't think it is. I, I think it's too short. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it out here in a second and see, but I, I think when I filled it up the first time, I had to use two hoses, and I only have one. So, if that's the case, you can't use your regular garden hose, it can't be rubber, it has to be uh, nylon. So, uh, if that's the case, then I might have to uh, run to the store and grab a new hose. Don't wanna do that, but I might have to. Heck yeah, guys, one hose fits, look at that. I swear, like, the way this garage was built, man, it was like, that was like just the right length. Like, there's your standard hose. That's how much room you'll need. So there we go. We're filling up our fresh water tank, and we'll have fresh water for the weekend. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Trailer's ready to rock and roll. I'll get up tomorrow morning. I had my, uh, my, my 7.30 call on Tuesday morning. After that, uh, give Mike and Mike a call, and whenever they're ready to meet me at PIR, I'm gonna pack up the trailer and head to PIR. We'll get the trailer all settled in, un unloaded, and ready to rock, and then come back home and resume our day. So uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here so I have time to edit it. Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. I am this guy for more videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday. There'll be some tacos in there somewhere, and trailer prep. Vlog on. What's up, Clinches? My name is Jeff Rocco. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. Always say, vlog on. Yeah.